Hello, boils and ghouls. This is Woos the Collector, and this is episode 19 of the Collector's Geeks and Freak Show. As promised, I went to see, not the original Halloween, but Halloween ends this weekend. Boy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how I feel about that. Um, whoever wrote the script or came up with the story needs to be fired and never allowed to write another movie, or at least a Halloween movie. After the Halloween, we had Halloween Kills. The Halloween and Halloween Kills, great movies. What they did with Halloween Ends, it looks like it's over, but who knows, like I said before, if they can make money off of it, they'll, they'll do whatever they need to do to make money. We know that. But the story for Halloween Ends... I was so disappointed. Went to see it in Cinemark H, um, XD. Um, theater was nice, clean, quiet. Went to 10.30 a.m. show. Nobody was in there, which is perfect. Nobody sitting on either side. Nice, quiet, good movie. Um, we still got to work on their bathrooms there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, back to the movie. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, I'm surprised she signed off on it. Um I was just totally dis dissatisfied with it. It's I'm not going to give any spoilers, but it does start off with a character they, they came up with, this new character, and it seems like more than half the movie was about this new character. And there, we didn't see Michael at all, really. It, it was disappointing. The kills were disappointing. Um, the story was disappointing. They could have done so much better after the last two they did. And to end it like that with Jamie, because she's probably not going to do another one if, if they ever do decide to do another one. But I'm pretty sure that was the end of Lori Strode's story. So um, if they bring Michael Myers back in another Halloween, we'll see. But this one, uh, if you're a big Halloween fan like myself, yeah, go see it in the theater. Especially if you can see it on a big screen. Um, it, it's, it's always so much better, this, the sound and everything. But in all honesty, if you're not that big of a Halloween fan, wait for it to come out on demand or wait till you can see it for free. Um, I was very, very, very disappointed. Halloween Ends is not woos worthy. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but like I said, the new character they introduced, as we saw in Halloween Kills, Jamie's daughter is dead. She's living with her granddaughter now. Um, she's writing a story about what happened to her through her life. And then they introduce this new guy. And I, I saw no point in it. The, the story was terrible. And I'm going to leave it at that. Did a watch weekend this weekend too. I'm going to tell you another disappointment. That I already knew was going to be a disappointment. I watched Rob Zombie's The Monsters. I knew it was going to be silly and goofy. Um... I wasn't going into it looking like, it's, oh, it's a Rob Zombie movie. No. I, I love Rob Zombie's music. I love s some of his movies. I did not like his take on Halloween. Sorry. Uh, is it watchable? Yes, I watched it. But at, is the Monsters watchable? If you like Goofy, and this is not a horror movie, this is it's the Monsters from when we were kids, you know? Um, the guy who played Herman, he was okay. Grandpa was okay. And he, of course, he's got to have his wife as Lily, Sherry Moon's zombie, um, which he didn't do terribly bad, but uh, it, it's just getting a little tired of Rob's movies because he uses the same actors in all of them. This one, not so many, but most of his movies are the same actors over and over again. And it, it just gets tiring. Um, unless you're doing the trilogy like A House of a, a Thousand Horrors, you know? But the monsters, uh, goofy, silly. I watched it because Lady Woos wanted to watch it, and I figured I'd give it a watch. Um, will I watch it again? Nope. Will I watch Halloween Ends again? Yes, I'll have to watch it. I probably would want to watch all three in a row and 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 get another take on it. But the it it's end. <laughs> Let's end that. Um, the monsters. If you like that kind of stuff, it's on Netflix. Um, it would be okay for kids to watch. There's nothing really bad about it. It's PG-13. A um, couple goofy moments, but it's not nothing to my liking. So, 
But if you like those goofy horror kind of deals in it, I'm not even saying it's horror. It's it's more of a comedy. Um, and we'll leave that at that. Um, also, what I watched is I had a Blu-ray sitting around. We I watched um, Underwater with Kristen Stewart. Um, I actually kind of liked it. It wasn't the greatest movie, but it wasn't the worst movie. I liked how it, it started right with the action right off the get-go. And the movie jumped right into the story. No, none of this backstory on anybody or anything really like that. So it was just people running from sea monsters. Not the little sea monster, the little, the little bucket you grow, but um, monsters in the ocean. Um, and they were pretty cool looking. So I would give that a watch if you can. Um, it was pretty good. What else? Uh, nothing else I really watched. Um, did do some... Had to pick up some Best Buy stuff, which I'm going to show you right now. I had ordered and it would ship to the store. That was on the McFarland sale. So I'm going to sh go off with these. I'm going to start off with these. I have the Penguin from the Batman. $8.99. Can't go wrong for a McFarland figure. Um, and plus, I loved C Colin Farrell as the Penguin. Unrecognizable, but he was, he was, he was awesome. And there's a new show coming out. So on HBO Max. So I'm interested to see that. So we got the Penguin. We picked him up at the store yesterday. I've got the Riddler. Another one, $8.99. So I pretty much have all the um, the Batman figures now. That came out from McFarlane. I got the, the Flash Hot Pursuit. Which I thought was a pretty cool looking figure. $8.99. Can't go wrong. One of the last ones I needed, Bloodsport, for the um, build uh, King King Shark from the movie, um, Suicide Squad. So now I have enough, I have, well, I have all the pieces to build King Shark. This one was $12.99, originally $24.99. So um, more than half off on these guys, just about half off on him. Um, I also ordered a video game that was on sale. Um Chivalry, Chiver, Chivalry 2. Um, it looked interesting, so I might give it a get-go. Um, it looks like a multiplayer game only, so we'll check it out, see see what it's like, and go from there. That was 10 bucks, so can't go wrong from there. I stopped by Target. Um, Haji Astar, this guy is from OB1. That's... Um, I forget the actor's name, but um, it was a Target exclusive. He was the one pretending to be a Jedi. Um, I had him on pre-order, but I found a, a nice one in the store. Canceled the pre-order right in store. Like I told you, if you ever do a pre-order and you find something in the store, pick it up, cancel your pre-order. Because this way you won't ever have what happened to me with one of the Spider-Man Target pops where I saw him in the store, should have picked him up. But I had, ah, I got him on pre-order. Then they canceled my pre-order and couldn't get him again. And he's gone. So that one was there. Um, I also went by my local Walgreens because I was looking for some of their um, their exclusives. My lo one of my local ones had a bunch of exclusives, already had them, but I did not have Frankenstein Blacklight with the whole flower from the original um, Universal Monsters. So I picked him up. I, um, I thought he was a little pricey for Walgreens. So that's my opinion, $15. Oh, Walgreens other pops are eleven ninety nine, $12.99. I, I you know I could I guess because he's an exclusive that I think they can charge more. Um, Target doesn't, so that's cool. And neither does Walmart, but Walgreens they charge more for their exclusives. So picked him up. We got him. Um, I have uh my Funko order came in from New York Comic Con. Well, not from New York Comic Con, but when Funko is exclusives from New York Comic Con. That came in. We're going to open that. That's a big box. I got my Midtown Comics order also. So what we're going to do first is I got a little one that came from Amazon today. I ordered this guy yesterday. He was 11 bucks. Um, I can hear now there's no packing in him. Driver left him right in my little box on my porch. Gave him a good review. Yeah, nothing... No packing in this one, so he's been moving around. Got a little ding on the back. Nothing too terrible. 
but um, this is an Entertainment Earth exclusive. And I was able to get them on Amazon for 11 bucks. Where I think on um, Entertainment Earth, he's like $13.99 or $14.99. So I picked him, picked him up because he's an exclusive. I didn't care for Love and, Thor too mu or Love and Thunder too much. Um, but it's a pop. I love pop. So I picked him up. And I thought it was pretty cool with the axe. Kind of like a guitar. He's a Ravager Thor. So we picked him up. He's got a little crease in the back. I can live with that. Especially when it's on the back. But overall, he's in pretty decent shape. I think I'm going to do... Um, we'll continue with the pops. We'll, we'll wait on this. The Funko box, I'm just going to bring it up in the frame. And I'm going to have to open on the floor. Yep. Ah, yeah. Like I said, I pretty much got everything I wanted. Okay, the box is down. Box opener. Slice open. I know they... Yeah. Plenty of packing in here. They've got the paper packing, so, and they probably have everything in the little boxes, which they do. So, let's take this paper packing, throw that over there, clean up later. Wow, a lot of, a lot of paper packing. With some of the paper, I, I do save some in case I decide to sell something along the line. Always recycle. I recycle my boxes too. I save up some of the boxes just to use for shipping purposes. Okay. So we're going to take out the little guy first. Oh, the sodas are loose. Oh. So I picked up, um, this is all from Funko's website, Grape Ape. Loved the cartoon as a kid. Still still love Grape Ape. Um, he's got a chance of a chase. And I, and here's the first crow I bought. So we're, we are going to open these right now. And I'm not going to open the plastic. We're just going to check the coin to see if we got the chase. Be nice if we did, but all right, we're gonna do Megilla first. New York Comic Con exclusive. This one you could only get on New York Comic Con, and he's only 5,500 pieces, so that's pretty um low. Yeah, I probably shouldn't open them, but I gotta see if I get the chase. So, as they got him, they got him sealed in his little plastic bag, and then you got your little coin in there. All right, so that's him. So you put the coin out, flip it around. Nope, no chase, just regular gray babe. I don't want to open them out of the plastic, so I'm just going to leave them in there. So no chase on him, but he still should be valuable because he's a limited amount of pieces. So that's not many, 5,500. 5, so you wonder how many they sold online, actually. And how many um, sold at New York Comic Con? You know, well, obviously it's only five thousand five hundred, but they must only had the limit of so many. The, the can does have a little ding in it, but can't return them because they're not gonna have any more. So let's check out my second crow. We'll see if he is a chase. Not gonna open this one since I opened the last bag. Just gonna open up the can to see the coin. You can see Eric Draven's coin in there. And we're going to flip them out. Oh, still face down. Up. Oh, yep. Yeah, just another regular Eric Draven. No chases in the soda. That's why I don't like these things. I'm not a gambling man myself. So I don't like to gamble on stuff like this. The mystery minis and stuff like that. Not really my taste. Neither are these, uh, these sodas. But I had to get the crow. Eric Draven. And I had to get Grape Ape. So we got those, and like I said, I got mostly everything I wanted from Funko. The only thing I really didn't get, um, which I wanted, is that it was also only available at Funko.com, was the Notorious B.I.G. figure they had this year. I only wanted to grab him because I knew he was going to go up in value. Um, but that's okay. You know, it is what it is. I picked up some other ones that I normally wouldn't pick up, like this guy, Swamp Fire, from Ben, ben 10 Alien Force. They're pretty popular from what I understand. I heard people asking about them. So I picked up one. Um, this isn't for my collection. Might resell them. But of course, you know, the box is all dinged in the back. That just sucks. But with the exclusives, if they're sold out online, it's not really worth it. You think that Funko would look at these before they put them in? At least a quick look. That's, that's noticeable. But... 
I'll look into maybe ex see if I can exchange them. But if you can't, you're st you're stuck with these exclusives, the limited ones like this, because they're sold out. I haven't watched um Andor yet on um, Disney Plus, but this is BT B two E M O, one of the droids from the show. So I picked him up. Of course, gotta be a Star Wars fan. So, oh wow, these things are locked, kind of. We got one, two, three, four, five of these. So we're going to pop them open. Show you what else I found or what else I got. Oh, I got the Dungeons and Dragons and um, Stranger Things 2-pack. I thought Vecna looked pretty cool, so I, I got this. And I thought it, it was an interesting, they had the, the Vecna Dungeons and Dragons style and... Vecna. So pretty cool. So I picked this puppy up. This one was dirty. Um two figures, 15 a piece. You look at it that way. So he's cool. Got him. And I know Aquaman. I had to get this. I, 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 he's still one of my favorite DC characters. Just because of the ocean and fish. Because I was um was big and wanted to be a marine biologist growing up. So anything good to do with the oceans but i always loved aquaman i always loved them in the super friends so i picked him up get another one of these puppies out like i said they're all in their lock except this one another I got three in here um i have not watched the last kingdom but i picked up this guy don't ask me how to say his name <laughs> Pretty bad. I got Jimbo Jones from The Simpsons. Um, there was another one. I forget the other guy's name. I didn't get him, but I can get him at Hot, uh, not Hot Topic. Uh, Fye's got him um, as a shared exclusive, and Fye usually has way too many exclusives. And if you wait long enough, they'll go down in price. So I'll find an Fye that's local. I think we have one in Meriden, Connecticut, still, and check that out within the next few weeks or so. We'll see if one's around. Um, I got Kayla from Jurassic Dom World Domination. She was a New York Comic Con exclusive. Of course, because all of these are. We have another three. I got the finished the set where I got the Power Rangers Turtles, so now I have all four of them. I got the ones from San Diego, and now I got Mikey and Raphael, Power Rangers Ninja Turtles crossover. So now I have a complete set of those. Not a big fan of them, but I wanted it. I thought they would go up in value because it's something interesting. Um, I got Nick Fury from Secret Invasion, the up-and-coming Marvel series coming to Disney Plus. So we got him. See how these, uh, like I said, they were all, four of them were interlocked like this. So pretty cool how they ship them. A little disappointing on the couple ones they didn't really look at and set me with the dings and stuff. Oh, this way. Ah, uh, Clarabelle Cow. I believe. I picked this one up because I saw it was selling out at the con. So I picked that one up. Oops, she's got a little niche down at the back and the bottom. Not too bad. I had to get Yosemite Sam as the Black Knight. Looney Tunes, one of another favorite cartoons as a kid. There we go. Now he's probably got a ding on him. <laughs> That's Roger Rabbit. I, I don't think there has been any Roger Rabbits yet. So this is like a first. So that's why I picked him up. The box. Everything looks cool. So a lot of these, when I pick them up, I'm looking, yes, to add them to my collection. But I think the resale value on them will go up. So I keep on to them. My, my goal is when I get older, yes, I have a lot of this stuff. And we'll show you the basement in another video. I keep promising, I know. You've only seen the, the Woos Cave so far. Um... But as, as I get older, I want to start doing cons. I, I watched another guy. He was selling off his own uh, collection. And I actually bought, um, if you look behind me, oop, 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 camera 
that screws me up. That Predator over there from Predator 2 on the building, I picked up from that guy. That was one of his personal collections. I usually don't like buying the open box stuff, but when you get a deal on them, um, you tend to pick them up. I think they screwed up here. We'll get to that. I got to find out which one they sent wrong. Um, Professor Al. Picked him up from Disney. He was selling out at the con too from what I saw. Um, I got Guy from Free Guy. For Lady Wu's of course. Because she's a big Ryan Reynolds fan. And this guy. I did not order. I ordered him from Amazon. So one of my figures from Funko is incorrect. So I'm going to have to reach out to them about that. Find out which one is wrong. Look at my... And... Um, get him probably return this guy because i already have one coming from amazon so um yeah that's my funko order from the new york uh the all well, the fall co fall convention ones we're gonna do uh i do have oops, knocked over my light okay <clears throat> still got plenty of light midtown comics my pre-orders so I'll show you what I've been reading lately and what I'm going to read. As I said, New York Comic... Uh, I'm sorry, New York Comic Con. Uh, well, Midtown Comics is always at New York Comic Con because they are in New York. Always packs their, their books well. So we got... Uh, wow, 35 books in this order. Doesn't look like they're, oh, you just ripped out of there, but they put them in their own little baggie, so we're going to see who, what we got here that came in this week. And I got to start a new little pile somewhere, so I'm going to pick right over here. So I'm going to put these in my lap. And then we've got Han Solo and Chewbacca, which I'm still following. This may be one of my last ones from here, but I I, I don't know, if or maybe I'll follow it to 12. Um, we got X-Men from the Axe, X-Men versus Avenger, well, and Avengers versus X-Men versus Internals, so I'm still reading that storyline, which I've liked it so far. Edge of the Spider-Verse, number five, I've enjoyed these so far, different, different versions of Spider-Man coming together, because we got another threat coming down the web. Red Skull on the back. Oh, Night of the Ghoul. It looked interesting, so I picked it up. I like horror comics, so I'm going to check this one out, see if it's something worth reading. It looked interesting. Oh, I got Sergeant Rock versus the Army of the Dead. Nazis against Sergeant Rock. Hat, hat, couldn't pass that up. So I'll be reading that. Savage Avengers. They got... Sent to 2099 now in a time portal. So, new storyline starting there. Conan was left in um, the Hyperion Age. So, new storyline there. Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, which is another uh, DC, which I started to read more and more DC lately. Um, I especially like the, the big books with all the, the, the characters in them like this, or the big stories, if you want to call them that. Um... Dark Crisis, this is the, the Deadly Green, that's um, Swamp Thing. This is a one-shot that goes with the Dark Crisis stories. All Out Avengers. New Avengers book, like I said, I like the teen books. Amazing Spider-Man, oh, the return of the Hobgoblin. But which one? I guess we'll have to read and find out. The New Fantastic Four. Short little story there um, from the past. Well, new story, but set in the past. That's the last book on that one. Venom, which I still I need to catch up on him. That looks like a new guy there. So we got a new character. So um, when they introduce a character, that book might go up in value. Ghost Rider. I like this cover. Johnny Plays, FBI. Pretty damn good cover. I'm liking the story so far on this. If you're a Ghost Rider fan, that's a definite pickup and read. 
Hulk. Ooh, Hulk Planet starts here. So, excited about that storyline. Spider-Man number one. New Spider-Man series, so we'll give it a whirl because I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Can you tell? Venom. Green Goblin. Ah. Uh, here back slipped around Picard Stargazer this is a little prequel to the new season that's coming out on um, CBS so I picked up that just bumped the mic uh, the Mandalorian let's see if the story gets any more different so far uh, the first ones I've read it was a retelling so but like it shortened retelling so hopefully the They'll come up with a new storyline or something to fill in between the seasons or the episodes. Star Wars. Skywalker on the cover. Thank God the last one of this, the Jurassic League. Kind of goofy, kind of silly, but I picked it up and it was only six books, so I had to give it a thorough read through. Death to the Mutants from the Axe storyline. Um, Eternals from the Axe storyline. It's also, I believe, a one-shot. Vanish, new book from um, Image. And from what I read, it looked pretty cool and I like the cover, so I'm going to give that a read. Oh, this is the Amazing Spider-Man before, the one I, sh I sh just showed you. So... That. Avengers Axe Storyline um, DC vs. Vampires I've liked this story so far So if you're a DC fan and like horror and vampires Give it a read Avengers Forever This has been a good story so far Robbie Reyes is now the all-rider um, It's been pretty cool so I watched that Oh, there should be New Creep Show book came out. So I picked that up. Reminiscence of the originals. You notice my introduction. Boils and girls. <laughs> oh yeah. Love the creep uh, the kip, creep keeper. Uh, creep keeper. Crypt keeper. Jesus. Tongue tied all the time. Carnage. This is the symbiote collecting other people's powers. Super villains. Wondering what he's trying to do or what he's trying to accomplish. Um, Avengers. Judgment crossover. Judgment Day. Axe crossover. Well, that's for the the, uh, the regular book. The whole storyline. Uh, Mandalorian 3. Star Wars. Darth Vader. Um, I, I am enjoying the Darth Vader book. It, it, I... I Vader is one of my favorite villains, so. Edge of the Spider-Verse. We got looks like we got Spider-Ham in this one. And the Spider Buggy. Pretty cool. Uh we got two more. De Deceased War of the Undead Gods. Because I read the all the other DCs so far. And we have the DC versus Vampires All Out War. Separate story. So those are all my Midtown comics. I actually have to do my Midtown comic pre-order this evening um, for the month of December. So I ordered it early. Um, and like I said, that pile of books you've seen there would probably be a few hundred dollars. But, or not a few hundred dollars, but close to a hundred or 150. But when you do the previews, you get up to 35% off. It 30, yeah, 35 or sometimes more. Um, well worth it if you're a comic book reader. Um, I don't know of any other online stores. I'm kind of, um, I'm a loyalty guy. So Midtown Comics has treated me right so far. We're going to see if Funko treats me right. Figure out why, what guy this is wrong. I'll let you guys know next episode. See if I can get my replace or my correct figure for him. And that's about a show. Um, I think we're done. So this is Woo's the Collector. Sign off for now. And um, I'll be back next weekend after I watch Black Adam. So if you want to know what I think about Black Adam, tune in next episode. 
Later, all.